Hello, I am Piyush Malwal and you are watching Agribusiness News. Let's start with the latest updates. Agritech startup Greensat Innovations plans to launch a cropless program, a system alternate scheme to the MSP program in India. Deepak Yadav, founder of Greensat Innovation Lab said, "We try to get the program to India. We are discussing it with insurance coverage and reinsurance corporations to provide us a product line." It might be a revenueing reply to the MSP program. Kheti is partnering with Samunati to deliver micro greenhouses called Kheti Rakshak to over 1 lakh farmers. Raghu, co-founder and president Kheti said, by collaborating with Samunati, we unlocked capital to reach 1 lakh farmers. Kheti have small holder farmers to battle to climate change through the greenhouse in a box, a low cost greenhouse bundled with end to end services and it helped the farmers grow quality vegetables even in off seasons. As per TRS 2021 report, Astral Pipe is recognized as the most desired brand in piping category report. Astral Pipe has always focused on innovation, quality of engineering and customer satisfaction. They dedicate themselves to providing superior quality products and settling a benchmark in the piping industry. Sohanlal Commodity Management (SLCM) has received a technical assistance grant of rupees 1.11 crore from the Technical Assistance Facility of Incofin (AgTEF) and the Small Holder Safety Net Upscaling Program towards the development of its quality application for food grains and pulses. Sandeep Sabarwal, CEO SLCM said, "SLCM Group is fully committed to pioneering widespread digitalization in our area of activity in the agriculture domain." We will be initiating the deployment of this AI and ML enabled app towards the stated goal of achieving the vision of an electronically connected agricultural value chain. ICR celebrated the virtual 93rd Foundation Day and award ceremony of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research at Krishi Bhavan New Delhi. The Kisan Sarthi and ICT based interface solution was also released during this occasion. On this note, associate editor of Krishi Jagran Vipin Saini said, "Ideas congratulations Iker on its 93rd annual foundation day and it has been a remarkable journey uh, since the independence uh, of the country uh, from a nation wanting to uh, import food grains from other countries to now being a country, uh, country which is capable of providing food grains across the world it's been an amazing journey and uh, Iker has been doing an amazing job in transferring agricultural technology from the lab to the land congress BSF Canada Agricultural Solutions has received registration from Health Canada's Pest Management Regulatory Agency for Vercoraz. BSF's first seed treatment for Invigor Hybrid Canola, Vercoraz delivers broad spectrum protection against seed and soil borne diseases like blacklack during the critical early season infection period. as well as baseline protection against flea beetles the grain atm has been set up at faruknagar in gurugram as a pilot project that will work on the lines of bank atms deputy chief minister of the state doshan singh chotala said that by installing grain atms along with saving the time of the public they will be able to get ration in the right measure the main purpose of establishing grain atm is right quantity to right beneficiary According to Solvent Extractors Affiliation of India, the nation exported 25,918 tons of soybean meal throughout June in opposition to 52,434 tons, recording a decline of 57%. BV Mehta, government director of SES said, India is now completely outpriced for the export of soybean as the common value jumped from 43,100 a ton in November to 76,000 in July. Soya meal value has also gone up from 36,100 a ton in November to 65,000 now. The Indian government will soon sign a memorandum of understanding with Bangladesh to expand the cotton exports. The CCI to channelize export of at least 10 lakh bales of cotton and for more agri updates keep watching Krishi Jagran. Thank you.